What's up everybody, I'm 720p here, and today I'm going to be starting my new series, uh, Teach Me Photoshop, or Photoshop for Dummies, or whatever you want to call it, um, I've, I've gotten a lot of requests about a series like this, because a lot of people don't know how to use Photoshop to watch my videos, and they want to know how to use Photoshop. So I decided to make a series showing everybody how to use Photoshop. It'll be a very simple series and in the end you'll be able to come out with something like this, hopefully. Uh, if not, much, much better. Alright, so let's get started. In this first video we're just going to go over what the basic buttons mean. This button right here on the top, that's just your move button to where you move stuff around on your on your screen. In one second I'll open up something and I'll show you. It's like it's how you move your name or whatever it is you need to move. Alright. And the second button's your square to like a selective tool. To where if you want to just color in one area, then you would just color it in, let's say make a new layer. You can just color it in on that one area. And if you right click this, it open the circle, which does the same. Uh, the single row, which allows you to just select that single row. And then you can do transforms and whatnot on that but I'll get in transforms later. Alright now we have the lasso tool. Let's just say you wanted to select this area right here. The lasso tool allows you to do that without having to uh, make a perfect square and it just goes however you want it to. So you just want a circle like that. And that's what it would select. Okay, the polygon, polygon lasso tool, which allows you to click where you want it to go. Much like the pen tool, but the pen tool is better for this procedure, I say, because it lets you curve your stuff. screen and then the magnetic lasso tool which basically does the same as the first one all right this is the magic wand tool to like it selects let's say you were wanting to render out something uh, I gotta use a PNG let's just say you wanted to I don't know why I opened wrong recordings. Say so you wanted to, uh, yeah, let's use this. The last or uh, the magic wand tool would help you cut out around your stuff. Like so, like that's a complete render on this car without ever touching it. And it it would just help you out tremendously if you don't really know what you're doing in Photoshop. Quick select tools basically the same but you just drag it to where you want it to be instead of um instead of just clicking where you want it to be. Next is your crop tool. Basically everybody knows what this is. You can just Pick the area you want to highlight and crop it and make the picture smaller. Uh, slice tool, which a lot of people use on their, uh, say, templates. A lot of people use slice tools on their templates. I don't use the slice tool very much. Um, your eyedrop and your color sampler. Y'all know what that does, it just basically lets you allow you to pick a color and it changes down here. 
the ruler tool um, helps a lot of people out it lets you let's say you're trying to see if something's lined up you can hold your shift button and make sure it's lined up on this side as well as this side of a picture like so just to see if that's lined up right I just pull my ruler across it to see I use spot healing brushes something we're gonna get into later we're not gonna get into that now right now we're just gonna get in your basic brush your basic just your basic brush um, and when you click up here whenever you have your brush selected you click up here and you have all these different options there is more and more brushes that you can download like grunge brushes effect buck brushes and many many more but the basic brushes you will start off with are just the circle brushes the soft tip and the fine tip brushes alright if you right click that you have your pencil tool which does the same thing pretty much it's just a lot smoother like a pencil now you have your stamp tool which I don't think I've ever used and your brush history tool I don't think I've ever used either your eraser tool <laughs> this will become one of your best friends in Photoshop I promise it will become one of your best friends uh, it allows you to erase believe it or not like so uh, you just have to be careful what you erase and right here you have your paint bucket which you could just guess it this allows you to paint and your gradient tool which your gradient tool has five layers your linear gradient which is like goes from dark to light or light to dark up or down the page or left to right your radial gradient which goes from the middle Let's see this is like a sundial gradient I guess you call it because it goes from dark and then it goes around to light I call it a sundial gradient and this is um, it takes your outside and then you'll start from like the middle or so like that and you'll get the light on both sides or dark in the middle or dark on both sides and light in the middle yeah, I think it works like from the left to right too but I don't really ever use this I will start using that now though this is basically like an Xbox effect uh, if you want to um, a lot of people call it centered uh, but it's not really my style okay let's get rid of that layer and continue this is your uh, smudge tool and what this allows you to do is let's just use this as an example it allows you to pull this out and then if you wanted to on certain pictures you can do effects on it and it will bring it back and make it lightened uh, next is our blur tool which kinda just if you could guess it blurs the picture a little bit uh, depending on what it is sharpen tool sharpens the picture your dodge tool I don't really ever use this because I find it pretty much pointless. Your bunge or your burn tool, which will add depth in your colors. And if you have dark colors, it'll make them a lot more vibrant and nice looking. Your pen tool, something you'll hear me talk about a lot. What your pen tool allows you to do is go along your photo and cut it out nice and neat not messing the picture up at all and you will be glad you use this because it will help you out tremendously in the long run and you'll be so happy that you didn't mess your image up because you took the time to actually cut stuff out that wasn't supposed to be there uh, your free transform pens basically like a pen that you can draw with it does the same thing but I wouldn't suggest using it unless you're an advanced user your text tool uh, basic text stuff 
Uh, but the most of the text that we will be doing in this, in this, um, in this, I guess you'd call it Photoshop class, Photoshop 101, that's what I'm going to call this, we will be using a Cinema 40, because that is what I prefer to do text in, because it looks a lot nicer and sharper. And this is just your path selection tool, or basically like the thing that you can do on your home screen but if you have like a line or something on it and you can't if you didn't know it was there like if it was let's just say if that was black over there you could just go like that and you could find your line your right re rectangle to cube tool whenever you pull a rectangle down it will actually not make a rectangle on that one but let's see make a new layer and it's not working yeah. well that's new you can make custom shapes like arrows uh, hearts or strawberries whatever that is your hand tool which just allows you to move stuff around and your magnifying tool which allows you to magnify but if you have if you just hold your alt button you can just scroll in on your mouse pad alright uh, next is your two colors down here your top color is your primary color and your bottom color is your secondary color it's easy to switch them around just click this little button right here and on this, if you click this button down here, you can just hold it and zoom in like so. But like I said, if you just feel the urge to zoom in, then just hold your Alt key and press the Up button. Okay, on this top row, your Edit button, which will hold all your transforms like Warp and whatnot, but we will get into that later. Your Layers which holds all your layer stuff your filter is gonna be one of your best friends in Photoshop it allows you to do all your brush strokes and your distorts, blurs, pixel renders uh, sharpen sketches and everything else that is important in Photoshop alright thank you guys for watching that's episode one of Photoshop 101 I will be getting into more Photoshop stuff soon. If this video gets a good like to this like ratio, so if you watch this whole video through, can I get a like? And if you didn't, that's cool too. Alright, guys, I'm out.